The monthly housing numbers from the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board are out today for the month of October. And for the fourth month in a row, home sales are up year over year, up by 25% over October of 2019. And while the market remains strong in all areas, the gains are really being driven by sales outside of the downtown core, like right here in the heart of the 905. Here is just one example. This four-bedroom home with a big lot and a pool in the Winston Churchill and Dairy Road area of Mississauga has been on the market for about a week at $1.149 million. A lot of people through? Oh my gosh, yeah. Even within just a few days, like, we have all these business cards. A lot of people through. Um, we're always running out of the house. People are coming. We have probably... At least like four people, four different viewings a day, sometimes more. The house has received multiple offers and has now been sold conditionally. Affordability, space and the ability to work from home during the pandemic are factors bringing people to the suburbs. Focusing on detached houses alone, the average price is up 14.8% across all regions to 1.2 million. In the 905 though, it was 18% and in Toronto proper just over 11% for an average selling price in the city of nearly $1.5 million. As for the number of sales, they are up 33.9%. Again, most of that growth is coming in the 905. If you look at the, the detached housing market um, in, the, in the 905 region surrounding the city of Toronto, um, you've seen sales up on a year-over-year -year basis by 39%. Um, conversely, if you look at the, the 416 area of oh, the city of Toronto, you're still seeing strong sales growth, but the annual rate is lower coming in at just shy of 20%. Frank Leo is a top-selling Toronto real estate agent who tells me he is set to have his best year ever in spite of COVID-19. However, he and other insiders tell me they have noticed a slowdown just in the last couple of weeks, possibly as a result of renewed fears about the pandemic as cases rise, along with the uncertainty brought about by the American election. I think there's been a little bit of hesitation, maybe some stepping back and reflecting before people jump in. So the market is still strong, it's healthy, but there is some, 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 some caution taking place with the buyers. The condo sector is not enjoying the same rise in sale prices thanks to a flood of listings since the pandemic. In October, the number of listings doubled over the same month last year, which has kept prices flat, rising just 0.7% on average. But here again in this segment, the 905 saw a relatively steep gain in prices of 6.8%. Treb predicts these record or near record numbers will continue until the end of this year. In Mississauga, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.